Thoughts about this one? Yeah, you know, like you said, I thought we really kind of extended our lead a little bit, although no lead is safe with the way they shoot the three. And then we come down and we turn it over five times in a row, you know, in the second quarter. And at least the points for them, they get ahead at the half. We just didn't defend the way we needed to, you know, and, and that's what's most disappointing because that's not who we have been. And we've got to get that figured out. What we needed to do today was take away threes, um, not let them get to the free throw line and not let them turn us over. And they did all three of those things. They, they made nine threes. They got to the free throw line. We let, you know, one of their players have a career night, obviously, offensively. And we just didn't look excited to play defense and defend like like it, like it, our backs were against the wall like we've played lately. And so while we are scoring more, we're also giving up more, and we've got to get that fixed. Well, and this is obviously we know it's a game of runs, but I think what we what we notice on the sideline, and I'm sure you have to take this into evaluation too, is – they had long runs this game, you know, and those those short spurts of runs, those are going to happen. It's, yep. it's just the way this game works. But those those runs lasted it, specifically the one in the second quarter that flowed over into the third quarter, a quarter and a half of, you know, we were one of 11 and they were nine of 11. Yep. Well, we, we, we've we got to do what the scouting report says, you know, go where they go. And, and it's unpredictable what they run. They do something different every time down the floor. So we can't get ourselves in a pattern of thinking it's going to be one way or the other. And again, we just weren't locked in. We weren't locked in. It's disappointing to see, but we've got to get it fixed. Well, and y'all also had the, the you, we knew they were going to full court press yeah. us, but theirs was almost a facade, right? It wasn't one of those where they're going to trap early and really try to turn you, oh, turn the, turn you over in the first, you know, 60 feet. So, what was your advice to the to the girls, whether it was during a timeout or during halftime, of, hey, let's keep the ball live and let's attack them and, and do what we want to do instead of them navigating how we run our offense? We let their press just lull us to sleep. You know, we play lethargic the whole time. It, again, it's a slow trapping press that's meant to take time off the clock. And so we get it across half court. There's 16 seconds, 18 seconds left, you know, a little under 20. And, you know, our plan was to move it, shift it, you know, be – left middle right of the ball and instead we're calling plays and you know our point guards are standing there bouncing the air out of the ball and it just slowed us down and, and you know we talked about it at a timeout we talked about what it needed to look like and we just couldn't consistently do it there was a moment there in the third and fourth where we started getting it down the sideline and we yeah. scored some and cut it and then you know we sub because they're tired and then we sub out and then it's all over again you know the same thing so it's, it's again everybody being locked in and you know, um, making sure that everybody that steps on the floor knows what it is we're doing on both sides of the ball. Yeah, it seemed like they're in that uh, fourth quarter as the foul trouble shifted to Vanderbilt yeah. and their <laughs> bigs have to step out of the game. It's like, hey, here's the chance. Right. And it's like, oh, oh, no, because we do something at the other end. Mm -hmm. And just a day of, of frustrations. And I know that that carries over, but you outscore them in the fourth quarter. Yeah. What was the just the missing piece too many pieces to miss oh yeah we, we just we can't trade threes for twos yeah we can't trade threes the for twos. and you know we were scoring but we weren't getting stops and and so again it's just we've got to be better we fouled way too much we've got to be better on the defensive end of the floor and part of that is we didn't do what we were supposed to from a scouting report standpoint um and, and part of that is once they get going they are a mm -hmm. team that can score in bunches and we told them when 11 and 14 get hot holy moly like mm -hmm. they are hard mm -hmm. to stop and uh, that's what happened with um with harbison tonight all right joni let's see uh on the road uh, continues uh, florida on uh, the midweek before getting home uh next weekend thanks for coming out here and joining us thank Zane. you